season 4 of Outlander was put to rest last Sunday with all the drama you would hope for, young Ian, John Bell, decides to trade places with Roger, Richard Rankin, in the Mohawk Village, an offer the Mohawks were happy to accept because Ian is in way better physical condition than Roger, and after some hesitation, Roger returned to Brianna, Sophie Skelton, and even though the paternity of the baby is in doubt, Roger accepted it as his. When I spoke to the actors earlier, I wasn't able to share their thoughts on those moments, but here is what they shared with me about their feelings on the decisions their characters make. John Bell What do you think it is about Ian that makes him decide to trade himself for Roger at the Mohawk camp? I think it's sort of the accumulation of all of the choices that Ian has made, the decision to open up to Jamie, his decision to stay in America and not go home to Scotland and also his participation in what happened to Roger. I think he feels immense guilt over that. He sees this as a way of repaying his debt, because he's an honorable man and he sees it as an important way to prove to Roger that he's intensely sorry. I also think he's not doing it completely selflessly. He does actually really enjoy the Native American culture and is fascinated by it. To have that opportunity presented to him. He takes it completely with both hands and says, this is my decision, and this is my decision to make. I think it's really a testimony to his bravery and his survival skills, because he is a survivor. I also think he feels like he owes his uncle. Jamie rescued him from boredom back in Scotland. Ian also sees the strong love between Jamie and Claire, and he doesn't want them to be separated. Absolutely. I think he also sees in Brianna, too the love that she has for Roger. The passion she has for Roger. So, as much as it may be a little disappointing to him that he can't marry her, he's still an honorable man and will do everything he can to make sure everyone in his family is cared for. Unfortunately, that comes with him sacrificing his own freedom, but in losing the freedom he has with his family, he gains the freedom of being on his own. Of being a man of worth. So, I don't think that we need to be too worried about Ian. The other thing is that when he ran the gauntlet, he makes it through and he becomes a warrior. So, we also get the sense now that the bravery that Jamie has is also in Ian. Totally. Yeah. So, his experience in the Mohawk camp is going to be completely different than Roger's would be. Absolutely. I think, poor Roger, he had to walk 700 miles and then was thrown into that gauntlet without even understanding what the consequences were. Young Ian knows the consequences. He has that preparation. He knows what he needs to do. So, to get that moment at the end, of not just of joy, of being accepted, but relief that he has proved himself like the stories that he heard from Jamie about his time in the war, you know? That moment with Ian, Murtaugh and Jamie in the tavern, I can't remember which episode specifically, but he's fascinated by the stories of Jamie's younger self. So. Ian sees this as an opportunity to craft his own story and really decide his own destiny. I think, you really do see a change, a growth, in Ian and his ability to survive. I do love how he has accepted his role and is doing everything he can to make it right. I don't know if he'll be in season 5, but I do know that he is in future books and we will be revisiting him again. Stars has me by the throat. I can't really say anything, but yeah. You're absolutely right. As a fan of the books, you know young Ian's story, so certainly his growth. I would say this is him sort of reaching halfway there. There's still a lot more development that is going to go into who he eventually becomes. He still needs to write letters to his mother. I'm sure that traders passing through will be able to take them to her. That's hilarious. Jenny, Laura Donnelly, is a fierce mother, as we know. Maybe that's where he gets his bravery from. It's not Jamie, it's actually Jenny. Richard Rankin When Roger learns that Stephen Bonnet, Ed Spielers, could possibly be the father of Brianna's baby, he has a really strong reaction to that. Does he take into consideration the fact that the relevant took him in, so he was adopted? Will that weigh in his decision as to whether he could raise another man's child? Of course. I think there's an honorability in Roger that we know which way he's going to swing with that. 
I think he has such a strong moral compass and has very much an undeniable love for Brianna that I think he will bring to this child one way or another and I think that's a very valid point. Obviously, the circumstances are wildly different than his childhood, but it's still someone he loves and supporting that person that he loves. I think that's going to be very important to him. I don't see any way that Roger would be able to step aside from that. I think that's just the man that he is. One of the things that was really interesting is that there was the scene earlier where Jamie beats Roger and in the finale Roger beats Jamie. Do you guys do it and then have a good laugh? How do you deal with those kinds of things? I get along with Sam really well. He's an incredible actor and he's a lot of fun to work with. He's very, very humble, a very sweet guy. So, it was a lot of fun working with him. I think while you're doing a scene like that you try and keep a level of intensity, a level of energy up so it's not a case of falling down laughing after every take, but we did enjoy doing it. It was very tiring for both of us, I think more so than we thought it was going to be. Take after take of doing those fights was quite exhausting, but a lot of fun at the same time.